Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and this is tutorial number 50 in the series. So can you believe it? 50 tutorials. Uh, that is definitely uh, my longest series so far, my PHP series. So uh, that's crazy. But uh, let's go ahead now and actually continue working on this form. So if you guys watched the previous tutorial, we are talking about form validation. And I set up this form in the previous tutorial, which we're now going to uh, go ahead and just try and validate any data that the user fills in here. Okay, although I did make one mistake in the previous video, and that is uh, with these radio buttons over here, um, I didn't give them a value. So for the mail radio button, I'm going to go ahead and give that a value of, you guessed it, mail. And for the female radio button, I'm going to go ahead and give that a value of, of course, uh, a female. Okay. So there we have our male and female radio buttons all set up. Now we can go ahead and get started on the actual PHP code so we can get this site up and running and working. Okay, um, so just for any of you guys who can't remember what the site looked like, um, we basically had this form over here that the user could fill in. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and um, just make sure that the user doesn't fill in um, empty form fields because that's the first part of validating uh, your form you just want to make sure that they they did indeed enter a username and they did indeed enter a password and a password again and so on okay so to do that we're gonna make use of a function called empty in PHP and what this does is it checks if uh, the argument that you typed into here in these parentheses is empty and obviously we're going to be using dollar underscore post square brackets and then um, you know username will go in here for username then password for password uh, etc but we're gonna do this all inside one uh, big if statement so I'm gonna go ahead here and say if and I don't want to check if the values are empty. I actually want to check if they're not empty. So in PHP, this exclamation mark over here means not. Okay. And then I'm going to type in my function name, which is empty, and my parentheses over there. So uh, basically, this is reading if not empty, whatever value we put in here. So let's go ahead and say dollar underscore uh, post. And then um, we'll type in username. So if the username is not empty, uh, let's go ahead and do something. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, what this function does for now with just the one value. But we are going to place in a few extra values into this uh, if statement in just a moment. So let's go ahead and say if the value of username is em not empty, then we can go ahead and create a variable called username and we'll set that equal to dollar underscore post username so that whole thing right there and then we can just echo out something like uh, okay your username is and then append on uh, username okay or we could uh, go ahead and say else uh, you need to fill in a username. So echo uh, and then you need to fill in a username because we don't want them to have no username at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that now. Uh, come here, click refresh. Okay, so already um, it says you need to fill in a username just because of the way we've actually set uh, this form up. Um, but let's go ahead now and fill in um, a username, so Quinton. Okay, go ahead and click Submit, and it says your username is Quinton. But now if I go ahead and try and submit this with no username, it asks me 
to fill in a username again. Uh, so that is like the basic concept behind checking if a value is empty or not. But, uh, you know, we, we want to check for all the different values um, to check if they're all empty or not. Okay, so we can go ahead and just get rid of this echo line over here and uh, that echo uh, over there. And we're going to check now for a bunch of different values. So the first one we want to, we want to make sure of uh, that's not empty is username. But then we're also going to want to make sure that password is not empty. So I'm going to say and, uh, which is that double and percent. And then we're going to say not uh, empty. And I could probably just copy this exactly like that. Uh, oops. <laughs> I, I uh, cut it instead of uh, copying, but it doesn't matter. Control C. Uh, control V so and not empty password and we're just going to keep adding stuff to here and not empty so let's go ahead and paste this in again uh, and not empty password again so you could copy that and just paste that in there and again <laughs> not empty whoops should have uh, not got rid of this from my clipboard uh, and not empty the next value that we're working with here is gender so we want to make sure that gender is not empty and then again and not empty uh, the last value that we're working with is this text area over here which is called info so just make sure that info is not empty uh, go ahead and click save here and for this else statement now um, we could go ahead and echo uh, you need to fill in all fields so you need to fill in all fields okay go ahead and uh, put in our semicolon over here and uh, we're gonna work with this in the next tutorial so I'm just gonna say continue in next tutorial Okay, so uh, we're going to jump back into this code in the next tutorial. But for now, let's go ahead and actually test that our if statement is working. So I'm going to go ahead and click refresh over here. It's fine. Uh, we can resend that data. It's okay. Okay, so we've got an empty field here. And if I try and click submit while it's empty, it says you need to fill in all fields. But if I go ahead and I put in a password I mean a username and a password and make sure that we've got a password again let me just leave out male or female so I'll leave that empty and I'll leave this empty go ahead and click submit we still need to fill in all fields uh, again we can go ahead and put that in we'll leave our password out let's fill in a gender of male and uh, info or something just something that's in our info uh, box over here click submit again you still need to fill in all fields <laughs> so it uh, doesn't really matter what the user leaves blank over here something uh, something if, if, if as long as something is blank um, we're gonna uh, just echo out you need to fill in all fields but now let's go ahead and actually fill everything in so uh, just pass for password uh, mail and tell me about yourself well I'm really cool or I like to think so just kidding I'm not vain like that but uh, go ahead and just get rid of this thing now you can see we're no longer prompting the user to fill in all fields because they already have filled in all the fields uh, now it is our duty over here as a programmer to go back and just make sure um, that we can uh, make sure that we can work with this uh, data that they did indeed fill in but we are going to take care of that in the next video so that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help me uh, and my channel grow and that's all I have for you guys so I'll see you guys next time